When the air turned crispy, one of the dogs had a litter of bugs. Agnes would love them. I have released many of the words of my people, or sorry, relearned many of the words of my people, so I decided to turn to see her again. I carefully snatched the soft pup, melted it into the back of my hot dog, and the baby inside out. My hand trembled as it struck her door. No one answered. After a long wait, I gave up. I walked down to the beach, took out my puppy, played with it, sang his songs, and I remembered from school. Arriving home, late for supper, I quickly stripped off my pack up, forgetting the puppy. My father left and caught, caught it before it hit the floor. All the home, my mother shouted. As I looked at the nearly lifeless body, I felt a searing of cold remorse. How long have you had this puppy? My father asked. I shrugged, since morning. My father not down. Oh, puppies need their mother's milk. Will it die, I asked. I'm not sure, he said. It was all too much. I turned and ran out into the night with ears and arms, and <coughs> hands down in the sky. Grandmother once told me that if I listened to them, the tiny would reach down and snatch me away. I listened until my lips hurt, and they ignored me. Instead of scolding me when I returned, my father called me into the fire and handed me a hydrographer. I took it, sucked up some rice water, and released it into the puppy's mouth. <coughs> I had some patients at the hospital next to the school and knew how to care for the sick. I stayed up all night feeding them from patient. In the morning, we took the puppy outside. At first, his mother pushed him away. He whimpered, like me, he no longer carried his starving scent. I closed my eyes and wished with all my heart I never taken it. When I looked again, his mother was licking him. My father squeezed me to make the smile. By the time the snows came, eating was getting easier. <coughs> I had to my milk top with the puppy. I kept the empty for myself. I regained my family's scent and often helped my father with the dogs. One day he asked me to join him on a hunting trip. I was ecstatic. I love traveling with my dog stuff. We were far out on the barn and My father asked, all of us. Do you know the dog commands? Yes, I said confidently. G means go right and left is hop. He laughed, hopping off and giving me a command. The dogs were moving fast and my heart was racing. Hop, I called excitedly, meaning to avoid the pond on the left. But I confused my commands. The dogs went towards the pond. GG, I shouted. The dogs felt to turn the right. Ha ha, I encountered. The dogs started so quickly left. I nearly flew off the shed. Panicked, I repeated, ha ha, my command team the line into a tight pull that slowed to a gradual stop. Out of all, when my father tried. As we rode back to town, I felt proud sighting that the one of the brothers. I was sure he was proud too. Nothing drank often after that. On Christmas morning, I woke to the smell of lunch. My father sat like Santa with the motor presents. He gave my brother a train and my sister's beautiful porcelain dolls. There was nothing for me. I cried, and I tried so hard, but I still didn't want the world. What's wrong, my father asked. I wanted a doll accept. I thought you were too old for dogs to be teased. Maybe you're not big enough for your own dog sled. My own dog sled? I ran outside to find six dogs hitched to a new sled. I hopped on and drove around and around town and meet the kids normal lights. I passed by Agnes and her mother. At this speed, I could not see their expressions, but they both waved and cheered. As I neared home, I saw that my father had his own two dogs, hitched with my brother and sisters loaded on the sled. I slowed along my mother to climb on the runners behind me, my eyelashes freezing in tears. As we all sped off in the swift blue clouds, the sound of my mother's voice filled my ears. My girl, she shouted proudly, and the birds rose up in my heart to soar high once again.